not only is there something magical about getting to perform and getting to really be yourself, I think people have been able to feel celebrated. Everybody's been raving about what we do. So it's not about us so much dancing, it's about us giving back. So that's what we are doing, giving back to the community. We um, have really learned a lot about both um, the struggles that our aquatics department faces to keep our pools open, and the value of pools, what pools in our city provide for children, young people, older people, for all of us as community gathering places. <laughs> so we've been leading a project called My Park, My Pool, My City. It's been a three year residency with aquatics and the Austin Parks and Recreation Department, really focusing on driving greater civic engagement around the value of our public pools. Like the Super Bowl. We'll be rocking like the Super Bowl. And we are winners. We took the viewpoint of the maintenance staff. So um, Paul Slutes, Jonathan Tapscott, and um, Juan Hernandez were our narrators of that show and and the show also featured lifeguards and community members but it was really from the point of view of the maintenance guys telling the story of what it takes to maintain over 50 bodies of water and how difficult it is under the budgetary pressures and and the the age of our system so we learned a whole lot about about what's it like on the ground and how hard it is to keep these pools operated many of them being so old the Givens Pool has never been rebuilt, it hasn't been remodeled, and it's hanging on by a thread and really due to the, master, the masterful work of the maintenance staff has remained open. Some actually it was closed a couple summers ago because of a leak. It's about letting different people come together, different genres, different races, come together, this is something that should be seen all over the world. Because it's not just one race of people, it's all different people in the rainbow. It's really important to keep the city, the city, things that are important, the character of the city. People move to Austin for a reason. It's not just for like op economic opportunity, but also because of the vibe of Austin. So I think doing things like this kind of help to reinforce that and make sure that people don't forget why, what makes Austin so great. You know, this pool um, is a really central, a central gathering place for the neighborhood, for the black community that grew up in this neighborhood. So we worked with many of the black community leaders to introduce us to you know, the key people that, you know, there's so many, so, so many, but we just began to make the rounds. Hung out here at the pool, but also fa found people, uh, did some research, discovered that the Miss East Austin beauty pageant took place here in the 60s for a few years. And we did some research and, and I worked with some neighborhood residents and hired some people from the neighborhood to help us find Miss East Austin's and lifeguards who had guarded here at the pool. So every night we have a different gentleman lifeguard who was a lifeguard here at the pool in the 70s. Um, and I hope that um, people who grew up in the community are pleased with our work together. Um, I hope they feel like it's um, an accurate representation of who they are. And, um, and then I hope that people from out of this neighborhood uh, leave with a real understanding of the vibrancy of this place, of the importance of it, of its as Nook says, this is a legend. East Austin is a legend. Givens Pool is a legend. And people leave inspired to really support the long-standing community here to um, create a great future.